Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm going to show you how you can pause or resume subscriptions under the payments tab. Let's say you are a coach and you're running a membership site and you teach marketing, for example, and one of your clients is in hospital, for example, or moving countries or changing bank accounts. Whatever the case may be, the client is reaching out to you, is asking you, hey, would it be possible to pause my subscription for a month or two? And if that is the case, you can now hit the pause button and after that, you can also hit the resume button. Let me show you how you can do this. All right, first we wanna click on payments on the left then go to subscriptions at the top. And here you can see our trial subscription. You would need to click the three dots on the right and here you can see different options. You can view the subscription. You can cancel the subscription right here. You can share the payment update link. So in case they need to update their payment links their payment credit card details and all that, or you can pause the subscription. So let's hit pause subscription right here. And here you can pause the duration for indefinite or you can also add a custom date. So this really depends on your company's terms and conditions. You can say, for example, hey, every customer has a once in a lifetime chance to pause their subscription until we have to cancel it or similar like that. So they don't keep pausing it, right? So if you don't have that kind of regulation, for example, you can just say, okay, indefinite, whenever they come back, then you would just select indefinite. If you have a custom date, you say, okay, everyone gets like two months, you can select this option, custom date, then you would select the date. And then here under invoice behavior, you could either select to mark the invoice as void, which means the businesses are currently not offering services, no invoices would be generated for this period, right? Or you can mark the invoice as draft, meaning the businesses are currently offering the service and keeping invoices in draft state from where they can be later sent to the customer. Okay, so let's say we just gonna pause indefinite for now and we're gonna choose draft and then we're gonna hit confirm. Now you can see the status has changed to paused, all right? So now let's say the customer comes back and is ready to join the membership site again. All you gotta do is click the three dots and then you would just hit resume subscription because remember we didn't select a date, we just selected indefinite. So click resume subscription It asks you again, hey, do you want to resume the subscription? And then you hit resume. And the subscription has been resumed. You can see the notification right here. And here you can see the status has been changed from paused back to trialing. Okay. So this is just a demo subscription anyway. So it's not active. It's still on trial. Typically it would also say active right here. You could also pause this from the details page. So click the three dots, click view subscription. And then here you have an actions button. You can click that actions button and you can see cancel subscription or pause subscription. Again, let's click that. And here again, we can select between indefinite and custom date. Please note, obviously, if you choose custom date, the subscription automatically continues on that custom date. Then let's say we are going to continue it tomorrow, for example, then the subscription would just continue to run starting tomorrow. However, if you wanted to do it manually and you say, even if you've set the date, okay, the future date, you could still go in later on and then just resume the subscription like that. So let's just do that. Hit confirm. Here you can see the status has changed to paused, right? Let's go back to actions. Let's click resume subscription. And then we just hit resume here. You can see the notification subscription has been resumed. Sometimes you just have to refresh the page in order to see the update, okay? And also, by the way, if you're downloading the data of your subscription to a CSV file, you just click this button right here. And then post related fields are going to be added to the CSV file. So let's do that right now. Click that button. You will receive an email with the CSV file. And the email looks just like this. You have to download the CSV file here. Then when you open it up, it looks like that then let's scroll to the very end and here you can see the three fields last paused on resumed on date and pause and date so you have everything what happens inside of your subscriptions listed on the sheet as well and that's it already this is how you pause and resume subscription inside the payments tab i hope you like this new feature and i will see you in the next video